Hello people, this is Venkatesh Paran from 2IM Quant and Content Team. So this video is all about how I got my 99 percentile CAT Quant 2024. So is 99 that great percentile? No, not for sure. But still like I just wanted to share my own experience here. So how my preparation went, what are all the strategies I have played in my preparation. So I, I don't think like it will be applicable for all, but still like whichever is customizable, whichever applies, you can take it from there. So I, out and out, I wanted to give my own experience. So what are all the tracks, what are the strategies I used? So that's about this video, let's get in. First and foremost thing is like, uh, I worked more on basics. Basically, I had some passion towards my subject, quant, I really like math. So I love exploring those basics, fundas. So not just going behind a formula. So yes, if I take this problem, apply this formula, I get the answer. Yes, it's working, but why is it working? So we need to ask those questions. So I love, I enjoy searching answers for those kind of questions. So we do that, we take that in the practice. So that will efficiently help you understanding or uh, 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 getting the essence of the problem, what we solve. So that will actually give you or open ways for many of your problems. So asking why a, why a concept works, why a, any kind of any, any simple example. So I do this profit percentage, profit by CP into 100. But why are we doing that? What is that meaning? So it's a formula. Yes, yes, formula. I apply that, put the values, I get the answer. But why are we doing that? So what is the profit out of cost price? So asking these kind of questions, getting an answer for that, searching an answer, exploring that will really help you get the essence of the problem what you are solving. Fine, yes, that's one thing. And second thing is like, uh, I find myself more confident uh, in comfortable in arithmetic topics. So arithmetics percentages, so being in this field. So I, I uh, uh, explored more in these kind of topics, have taken more of classes or kind of thing. So that made me felt much comfortable in those arithmetic topics. But I was not much comfortable with when a blend comes, that is uh, arithmetic problem that deals with a little deeper in algebra. So I was not that much comfortable, co comfortable with that. I'm okay as long as it is going to be a pure arithmetic question or a pure geometry question. But when it comes to a, an application, a bit detail level, so I'm not that comfortable. So one thing I had strong, I have to make myself strong in basics, which I did. And then the other thing I have to be clear with the blend kind of things also, for which I really took the help of PYQs. So PYQs uh, uh, will will it would it would take us in the next level. So which is what I also carry. So PYQs really helped me because like PYQs you will find more those CAT standard level questions. So those questions which we had earlier, so if you are seeing those varieties, it will actually enable you to open or solve this kind of problems. So you pick a problem, you are no more in the comfortable zone. So you are now going to try those questions which are having those blends. So I'm able to do those problems. I took time and I made that kind of exploring here also. So I took time. I did not, I did not pressure myself in solving the problems initially at the beginning stage. I took time. So uh, it 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 took its own time to solve the problem and find then 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 slowly I gave the way for my pace. So initially, my objective was to give, try, get the correct answer, accuracy, and then I'll worry about the timings. So that's how it made, and hence like PYQs really helped me a way to achieve that. And then like uh, trying more varieties of questions. So you try level bigger questions, level advanced questions, and you also try more varieties of questions. So as you spend more time in preparing for basics, which I did. Further, what I did is, I did tougher questions, I did different varieties of questions. So, after a certain stage, see not to, I didn't see to spend more time with the basics again. So, which whichever doubts I had, I get, go, reach, go to the flowchart, to go to the beginning stage, get the basic verified. Again, I came down to explore different varieties of questions because like you, uh, no more, we try those questions of the same level, which is of not going to help in a better way. So we try different varieties. So you take any problem, any any kind of you you say for an example you have completed arithmetic. So at least I tried that completed arithmetic. 
so we tried or we much we 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 would be comfortable with problems that speaks only on a ratio only on time speed distance but when it comes to this kind of blend or concepts together these kind of questions which are of different varieties would take your confidence to the next level so i tried different varieties of questions that really helped me a lot and finally uh, pressurizing in your preparation but in exam you don't show it you take more mocks taking mocks and there you will have to be clear about not pressure not timer we should be clear about the work what we are doing that's what is very very important so which is what i did i picked those questions i left my ego in the back seat i drove my car and it went like i did not worry much about those tougher questions fight for the tougher questions i went with the questions which i feel confident to crack so i sat with that relaxed i did the problems and i did not see the time i had it that so timer i did not take it much as a pressure inside my mind i worked my problems in that way and that's again one more key that helped me to get away in this in this journey through this journey fine yes so these are the points i just wanted to share you may be helpful for you uh, yes okay fine and uh, you you while your preparation you will have your own strategies and things which you can implement it will work for you and the thing is like your preparation you are going to own it that's very very important so you are going to be the master of your schedule maybe the points or the strategies what i had will be for my own it would have worked for me alone you your strategies that you will come to observe in your journey and please try doing that put more time on that so the time what you give more for this kind of basics and fundas that will help you generate the strategies how you need to be proceeding for the second half that's really important and wish you all the very best for your preparation too thank you for this chance again we'll catch up in some other video thank you